Um, well, I, I guess first off, I mean, the, the sack, I, kind of a unique or rare kind of sack where you, you shouldered him to the ground. Uh, can you take me through just what you were seeing there and why the light ended up being that way? Uh, yeah, I was just containing off the edge right there and I saw he was a little sprint out play. So ran downhill and I was running as fast as I could and didn't really have time to gather my steps and wrap up. So I just kind of hit him like that. Well, and you guys, um, sacks and, and turnovers were not as common in a lot of these first five games. So to get a bunch uh, on both in yeah. both categories, this this game, how gratifying was that? That was awesome. Yeah, that's definitely something we've been working for um, and kind of waiting for our opportunities to finally get those. So it was nice to finally capitalize when they came. The numbers don't really show it, you know, throughout because uh, you guys haven't been in first string wise for every single victory, but. You guys have been very dominant, so what can you say just about the defense as a whole halfway through the season? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked about how we've been able to perform. Uh, you know, defense, I think, is a huge um, just team component of the game. So just having everybody in the, in the entire defense play on all levels like that is, is certainly fun. Yeah, we're really tight-knit group, so it's always fun to be out there with those guys. and be able to make plays even if it's just for three three plays most of the time. <laughs> kind of sucks. But. What was your perspective of um, Ty McCullough's touchdown to Taka? Uh, I was kind of sitting there on the sideline. Actually, I was, uh, yeah, I was sitting on the sideline there and I was sitting with uh, Rohan and uh, Rylan Schlepp and they go, ooh, it's some play call. I, got, I don't know if I want to say it, but they go, watch this, watch this. <laughs> so I was watching it, and then they scored a touchdown, and yeah, he's like, see, see, told you. So that was pretty funny. Um, Vegan talked about the 84, and, and Ty both talked about the 84 team and visiting you guys. Uh, what kind of inspiration have you specifically and the whole team kind of taken from that team? What kind of message have you guys shared about that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's definitely an inspirational team, uh, kind of that Cinderella story run. And uh, the thing that always sticks out to me when I'm when I'm watching, you know, the replays or the highlights from that season is everybody celebrating together. I mean, you can just tell when you're watching that team that they were a really tight knit group. Um, you know, one person makes a play and five of them are jumping in the snowbank. Um, one of them makes a big hit or a fumble recovery, and they're all jumping up and down like crazy. I've never even seen anyone celebrate like that. So <laughs> it's pretty fun to watch, and yeah, just. Trying to implement some of that, some of those things into you know our team in this year, so that we can hopefully accomplish the same goal. And talking about that, you know, you guys, that's obviously the main, the main goal. But have you guys, you know, with the one on one mentality, how, how have you kind of gone about trying to accomplish that goal while still you know staying in the moment this season? Yeah, I mean, I guess um, I don't really think about the national championship as a goal that often. Um, you know, like you said, one and zero. I'm really just thinking about the next practice. Um, and then if it's a game, is the next time I step on the field, I'm trying to do my best when I get out on there. 18 uh, total tackles between you and Danny. How much do you guys kind of push each other preparation-wise? And, you know, he obviously got the interception too. So yeah. how much do you guys kind of push each other to, to go out there and perform better than uh, one another? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we don't really, you know, touch on that uh, competition quite as often. It's just kind of, you know, doing it together. And um, it's just been a lot of fun. Um, playing with him and um, yeah it's just fun when you know that the guy right next to you knows what he's doing and you know that you prepare with him all week and uh, you can trust him to do his job he can trust you to do yours and then you guys make plays together and it's that much more rewarding. With Idaho being next week what's your excitement level like for that rematch uh, and just your mindset? Yeah I'm, I'm stoked you know definitely one that we've been waiting for one that we're going to be able to um, you know have a good test and see where we're at this season. Um, we haven't had a ton of a ton of um, hardships, I guess, or moments that we're able to prove ourselves. So this is definitely a big week for that, and just kind of you know seeing who we are. Well, good. Mm -hmm.